Hello everyone, it's Lilium here and first off I want to apologize for my voice. <laughs> um, I'm ill at the moment so um, a little thing has gotten stuck in my throat but nonetheless I'm here with a little um, vegan uh, food haul and yeah there are a few things in here that aren't uh, edible items so um, um, I also have uh, ordered hair color <laughs> um, that I'm going to be using on my hair soon. This is from a brand called Herbitent in dark golden blonde. This is a vegan hair color. has no harmful ingredients in there. Um, an all natural uh, permanent hair color. Also good for people with sensitive skin, such as myself. <laughs> so, really looking forward to getting my hair freshed up and also have it, you know, cut soon. So. Then we have some Ginseng Matcha Green Tea. Organic whole leaf uh, green tea with a sip. Of red ginseng and pure green matcha. So matcha is known for uh, having a lot of antioxidants and it's very commonly used in Japan but it has definitely um, you know gotten more and more popular here in Europe as well. I love matcha so puka is both organic and fair trade. love puka, all they stand for, so I go for their teas whenever I can. And we have two more uh, Clear Spring Organic Silken Tofu because I already ate the two I had, <laughs> so I decided to get more. I use them for like, yeah, Either I cut them and, you know, or mush them just as it is and I use it in, you know, for example, if you cut like half an avocado, I love to mash this up, put it in salt, pepper, lemon juice, topped with spring onion. That is definitely one of my go-to, you know, snack dishes at the moment. So delicious. Then something I haven't tried before. This is green nori sprinkle, sea vegetable condiment. And you can basically use this. Yeah, I'll just read what it says here in the packet. Sea vegetables have long been enjoyed for their distinct flavor and their versatility. Clear spring dried green nori sprinkle makes a tasty and nourishing condiment for a variety of savory foods. For a herb-like flavor, sprinkle on pizza and pasta, rice and noodles, vegetables, soups and salads, also delicious in breads, muffins, and crepes, sauces, dressings, and dips. So, very uh, versatile. And see, low in fat, a lot of fiber, look, 17 grams of protein, yummy, yummy, yummy. I love the taste of seaweed and this is Japanese company or it's made in Japan, this, um, love Clear Spring, <laughs> find their products to be really high quality. So yeah, looking forward to trying this. <laughs> And talking about Clear Spring, <laughs> I've ordered more miso, sweet white miso paste. Um, I also got this in my last uh, vegan food haul um, that you guys can check out. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description if you haven't seen that one. Uh, it's also by Clear Spring, and I made the most delicious miso soup with mushrooms and spring onions, rice noodles in there soy sauce and oh my god it was so good so I had to get more of this and 
over here, coming from something healthy, we have the naughty stuff. <laughs> and this is my uh, one of my favorite vegan chocolates from iChoc. Uh, it's just called White Vanilla. And it is just delicious. And you can see here it's made with rice drink powder. Uh, so that's what you know provides that milky milky white you know yeah texture to it and yeah that's why it can look like this you just use you know plant-based milk instead of cow's milk and the same goes for this one from Naturata um, this is with whole almonds and it's just lovely looks really good it says it's with rice glucose syrup there's not really any kind of you know vegan milk in this um, may contain traces of milk that still means it's vegan <laughs> just for notices like because a lot of uh, people you know especially if you're a new vegan you're like ah oh, contains traces of milk or may contain still vegan uh, it's just because that they make this at the same factory as they do with, you know, non-vegan chocolate. So there might be cross-contamination at some point, but um, I've heard many people say, like in the vegan forums, groups where I am, that uh, they are extremely allergic to milk and they buy products that have traces of milk and they have never once had a reaction. So um, it's safe to buy <laughs> buy stuff and is still vegan and fair trade very important so to something less delicious this is my uh, dishwashing detergent from eCover uh, many people don't know it but actually our soaps and dishwashing detergents have animal products in it it has uh, um, pig's lard and stuff in there and also in regular soaps this one is an environmental friendly one uh, based on plants and it is uh, developed uh, in um, you know factories that are environmentally sustainable and I just love the smell of these this was in this uh, lemon and aloe vera so I really love e-cover I also use it for my laundry and for my household cleaning. And the last little thing we got here is a another oil for my oil burner in an amazing scent. Uh, this is in the smell Lotus and I'm just gonna open it up to smell it for you. Yeah, let's give it a whiff. Mmm, it smells really good. Very like oh, naturally smelling really good. Um, so the only thing, like it's only uh, oil in here. It has ylang ylang oil. Um, so very lovely. I really like Ylang Ylang, so looking forward to trying this uh, in my oil burner soon. I got through the uh, Cypress oil already, <laughs> uh, so I have to remember not to burn it so fast because they are a bit expensive. But I definitely value quality over quantity, so I'd rather have a little and really enjoy it than buy something, you know. Yeah, junk that you know cost a lot less and you get more so yeah that was a lotus uh, oil for my oil burner so that was my little um, haul for this time guys my little vegan food haul and uh, I'm gonna be making some more uh, cooking videos for you soon and I'm also gonna start making more videos about veganism and how easy it is, how delicious it is, and how good it is for us and the planet and the animals. So um, a lot more like that to come, and cooking videos, and art videos, <laughs> and of course I have a lush haul coming in, uh, I think next week probably. 
So uh, stay tuned guys and uh, remember to subscribe so you never miss out on anything. And I'll uh, see you very soon guys. Have a great day.